So last year during a jujitsu competition, I almost completely tore my tricep tendon. And because of where that tear was, the doctor basically told me that surgery wasn't a good option. He said it wouldn't make a difference in my recovery time or the strength of the tendon after it healed. So my instructions were pretty simple. Immobilize it, stay out of the gym, and come back to see him in six months. Now here's where it gets interesting. Within three months, I was already back at jiu-jitsu training again. And within four months, I was back to lifting weights. Then, during my six-month check-in, my doctor had to order a second MRI just to confirm that it actually healed because he couldn't believe how far along I was. Do you want to know how that happened? When I got injured, I immediately started using a peptide stack called BPC-157 and TB-500. You may have heard people call it the Wolverine stack. Well, fast forward again to this year. I started struggling with tendonitis in my elbow again, and this is something that I've been dealing with for nearly two decades of lifting. I even went as far as having surgery on it years ago, but it just kept coming back. And if you've ever struggled with elbow tendonitis, you know exactly how frustrating it can be. It lingers forever, it makes even the simplest movements painful, and it feels like it's always waiting to flare up the second you start making some meaningful progress. So I went back on that Wolverine stack. I'm eight weeks in. That tendonitis that's been plaguing me for years is almost completely gone. That's my story. But let's get into the science of how this actually works. Because if you're watching this video, you're probably trying to figure out whether BPC-157 and TB-500 might help you with your own injuries, recovery, or chronic pain. But before I go any further, just a quick disclaimer. This is not medical advice. I'm not telling you what to take or how to take it. You are responsible for your own health. And the expectation is that before you put anything in your body, you have a conversation with a licensed physician. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's break this down starting with BPC-157. And it's a synthetic peptide based on a natural protein found in your stomach. One of its main effects is that it speeds up angiogenesis. And angiogenesis is just a fancy way of saying it helps your body grow new blood vessels. More blood vessels means better circulation, and better circulation means more oxygen and nutrients can reach damaged tissue. BPC-157 also helps to boost nitric oxide activity. This improved circulation is what lets your body shuttle resources to where they're needed most, so healing can actually happen. When used individually, BPC-157 is typically taken daily at around 250 to 500 micrograms. You can inject it subcutaneously near the injury site, or you can take it orally if you're using it for gut health. Now, let's talk a little bit about the TB-500. This peptide is based on a protein called thymosin beta-4, which naturally circulates in your body. Its job is to reduce inflammation, prevent scar tissue from building up, and encourage new cells to grow where they're needed. When used individually, TB500 is typically taken twice a week at around 2 to 5 milligrams per dose. It's also usually cycled, meaning people will use it for a period of time, then they'll stop for a week or two before starting again. Together, these two peptides work in synergy. BPC makes sure the blood flow and the nutrients are there. TB500 makes sure that the cells know what to do with those nutrients. And that's why people call it the Wolverine stack. It creates the conditions for recovery that are way faster than normal. But I just want to clarify, this isn't an overnight fix. It's not like you're going to take the shot one day and then wake up completely healed and recovered. For most people, it's going to take consistent daily use over weeks or even months to see any results. And that makes sense because your body still has to go through the biological process of healing. We're just doing our best to assist it in every way we can. So I'm sure you're wondering how people actually use these together. Again, I'm not prescribing anything, but here's what's commonly reported. Basically, you can take these compounds separately or you can stack them. What most people do when they stack them is they mix them together in one vial and inject them together daily. This means that people will take somewhere between 300 to 500 micrograms of each compound daily rather than a twice per week TB protocol or the daily smaller protocol of BPC-157. 
And the real reason they're doing it this way is just because it's more convenient and it works well since there's no interaction between those compounds that would make mixing them unsafe. Now let me tell you a little bit about the side effects. BPC is generally considered to have a pretty low side effect profile, at least from what's been reported so far. Some people experience mild nausea, dizziness, or headaches, but those side effects tend to be pretty temporary. TB500 can sometimes cause tiredness, lethargy, or flu-like symptoms when you first start taking it. It's nothing crazy for most people, but it's definitely worth being aware of. The important point here is that peptides like these haven't been studied nearly as much as approved drugs, so we don't really know the long-term effects just because that data is not there. This doesn't necessarily mean that they're unsafe to use, it just means that we'll have to wait and see if there are any long-term impacts of the drugs that we might not be aware of. And that's exactly why it's important to assume the risk yourself and not treat them like magic bullets. And so if you're like most guys, by this point in the video, you're wondering where you can get it. So there's a couple ways that you can go about sourcing. First, you can get these through peptide clinics in the U.S., where a doctor will actually prescribe them and you'll get them filled through a compound pharmacy. This is probably the most straightforward path, but it's also going to be the most expensive. But the benefit of paying the extra price is by going through a compound pharmacy and your doctor, you have a guarantee that what you're paying for is what you're getting. But there are also plenty of research chemical websites selling them as well. If you decide to go that route, you have to understand that these companies are for research purposes only. They're not intended for human consumption. And it's incredibly important for you to understand that when you buy these, it's at your own risk and you need to make sure that you're getting them from a trusted source. Now, if you want to know a little bit more detail about sourcing, like who people are using, what to look for, and how others are applying these compounds, I actually do cover all of that inside of my free school community. There's a link in the description for you to join below. Now, let me wrap this up with a few takeaways. Number one, the Wolverine stack works by combining two different mechanisms. BPC-157 improves blood flow and nutrient delivery. TB-500 reduces inflammation and drives tissue regeneration. Together, they create an environment where your body can heal much faster. Number two, this is not a quick fix. It takes consistent daily use over time paired with proper nutrition, rest, and patience in order for you to actually see results. You can't shortcut biology, but you can give it a push. Number three, these compounds are available through clinics, through compounding pharmacies, and yes, even through research chemical sites. You should make the best decision based upon your budget, your preference, and what you trust the most. You are responsible for your own health. And number four, if you've been stuck dealing with injuries that never seem to fully heal or chronic pain that keeps you from training, this stack might just change the game for you the way it did for me. If you want to learn more about how it works, how people are using it, and what to look for in a source, like I said, check out my free school community. The link to join can be found in the description of this video or in the pinned comment. And if you found this video helpful, do me a favor, drop your questions in the comments and subscribe for more breakdowns on supplements, peptides, and proven ways to get leaner, stronger, and healthier in a sustainable, healthy way.